Congress loves to play games. There's no shortage of intramural matches on the basketball court, football field, they even play ice hockey against one another. However, the congressional baseball game stands apart in terms of its competition and the level of excitement that it generates, particularly among the memberships. You don't always get to watch the, the Nationals uh, play the Dodgers in, in a game five. Uh, sometimes you want to see like regular people play. As far as we can tell, the Congressional Baseball game started, had its origins in 1909. It went in fits and starts from that point. They would occasionally play games where they could, you know, get one together. Sometimes they played at Griffith Stadium, where the original Washington Senators played. There were times when they played in Daytona Beach in Florida during spring break, which was a hit for members. Members would go down there uh, and, and get, get their own sort of spring training games going on. In 1958, though, there was a point where the Speaker of the House, Sam Rayburn, a Democrat from Texas, saw that there was a little too much energy, a little too much enthusiasm, and way too many injuries that were resulting from the congressional baseball game. He put an end to it, uh, and almost immediately, people there was an outcry. People did not want this game to be canceled. So in 1962, Roll Call founder Sid Udane started the congressional baseball game up again. It's been running since then, since 1962, with Roll Call as the lead sponsor. We're proud of our part in bringing it back. We think it's a lot of fun. The members also think it's fun, but they're also really into it. Democrats on three! One, two, three! Yeah! The Republicans tie this game at one and one. Little number down the right side. Kevin Brady now, he's playing baseball at the University of South Dakota. Oh, it's uh, fun. We have a good, uh, good uh, bunch of guys. They work hard, they have some fun, and they take the game seriously. Shortstop, Anthony Weiner from New York. This game is a situation in which you're a product of your political success. So if you have a good political year, you have a good recruiting year for this game. Back to a 1-0 lead. Let's look at Doyle again, try to slide in the home for the first run. Comes up three feet short, slides on his face. Look again, he comes down hard and gets a face full of dirt. There, there have been, there's been no shortage of injuries. This is the reason that Rayburn, you know, was concerned about the game. We've seen people carted off the field with uh, broken noses, broken wrists. Uh, it, but it, it's, it seems like that's a risk that a lot of the members are willing to take. GOP momentum here. You know, look, we came out of a couple rocky days in the house. I think we came up ready to go. We were ready to win this night. We're here on the scene in Alexandria, Virginia at Eugene Simpson Field. There's a shooting here this morning shortly after 7 a.m. at the Republican members of the GOP baseball team. We're practicing at this field over here. We know that five people were shot this morning. One of them was Congressman Steve Scalise. He's a Republican whip. We are all horrified by this dreadful attack on our friends and on our colleagues and those who serve and protect this capital. We are all praying for those who are attacked and for their families. And now, knowing Steve Scalise, as we all do, he is likely really frustrated that he's not going to be able to play in the baseball game. We had asked the American people to pray for those who were shot, both the congressmen, the, the volunteers, and our, our officers. And um, uh, it, will, it will be play ball tomorrow night at 7.05. The reasons for its popularity, I think, are varied. One, baseball, again, is, is part of the kind of the fabric of American culture, and, and members of Congress tend to, to take that very seriously. They, they probably grew up and have very good memories of, of being baseball fans, and the chance to take place you know, in a game is like in representing their party in Congress is, is sort of this too good to be true sort of thing to pass up. It's an event that, you know, in a, in a town that is increasingly partisan, uh, it's, a, it's a time when people can come together and actually just have some fun. 